Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today we are finishing off our three-part series that we did. Um, this is actually technically a four-part series now uh, since Nikki had the wonderful suggestion yesterday while we were filming the Sunday Fun Day palette to go ahead and do a look using all three palettes. So if you've missed it, you definitely should go back and watch those videos. I think they turned out pretty cool. Um, this is a mini trio set from Laura Geller. It uh, includes three palettes. It's called the Weekender set. Uh, the idea is essentially if you're going out of town or you're going out for like a weekend of fun, each one of these little palettes is themed from the day. We've got the uh, Flirty Friday, Saturday Style, and Sunday Fun Day. Each palette inc includes four eyeshadow shades, a blush shade, and a highlighting shade. So what I did was Friday, we did the Friday one, Saturday and Sunday, we did their respective palettes as well. And now here we are on Monday and we're going to use all three to make one look that uh, hopefully comes together pretty cohesively. Each palette works together, but has its own kind of like idea and style behind it. So I'm going to do my best to use at least one color from each palette. I think the one that's going to fit uh, the least in with the other two is going to be the Saturday style because that's more of a cool toned palette. The other two are both warm toned palettes, but we're gonna do our damnedest to make it look all cohesive. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into this bad boy. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you should consider doing that. So that way, every time we do a, a series, you, you get to see that and just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And then that way you can uh, know every time we do something crazy like this. So not that it's really crazy, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a journey. That's what we'll call it. It's a journey. Um, so I will say this is still available on Laura Geller's website. I picked it up right after Christmas time because she did a sale and I think we got like 40 or 50% off. It was a crazy good sale. I think I wound up paying 13 or $14 for the set. I cannot remember exactly because it was a long time ago, but it was right around that 13, $14 mark, which was an incredible deal. The last time I checked, this palette is still available and it was on sale for $20. So still a pretty good deal in my opinion. So if you want to look it up, uh, I'm sure Nikki can like link her website in the bio so that way you guys can find the palette yourself. It is still available and still on sale. A lot of the stuff that I've been reviewing lately has come from Christmas or from uh, Black Friday or from post Christmas sales and they are not still available because they were Christmas themed palettes. So this is one that is still available. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of rambling. But anyway, so we've got the Flirty Friday palette right here. We have the Saturday style palette right here, which you can tell is definitely more of a cool tone. The highlighter is definitely a cooler tone. You've got a nice navy color in here and it's just more, It's it doesn't really cohesively fit with the other palettes uh, because Sunday Fun Day is actually a primarily brown toned uh, palettes. We're gonna do our best. In my mind, what I'm gonna do right now is use, I don't even know, I don't know what I'm gonna use. See, my issue was the Sunday Fun Day was by far my favorite palette. I liked both the cheek and the highlight the best out of that one, I think. I liked, I will say I really liked the Saturday style highlight, but I don't think it's going to fit exactly the way I want it to with the warm toned she colors that I, I'm planning on doing. So that's why I'm not really including that one in the perspective. But I think what I'm gonna do is use the Friday blush and use the Sunday highlighter. That was the word that I was looking for. And we're gonna see how that looks. So we're gonna start with those because I pretty much always start with, uh, with my cheeks and get that out of the way. Blend it out a little bit and then we'll do the highlighter. I do have to say, I liked all the highlighters a lot, but I think the Saturday was my favorite. I think Sunday was my second favorite. I liked Fridays, but it was just a little dark, um, a little bit darker than what I typically like to do for a highlight. So it's a pretty one, but it's just something that I don't think I would gravitate towards normally, where the other two, I feel like I could use them on a daily basis and be very happy with it. While I'm finishing this up, I hope everybody is uh, doing well with everything going on. Um, I'd love to hear like in the comments if you guys are quarantining or if you're social distancing or how everybody's doing, if you're going crazy or if you're happy being alone or just all that kind of stuff. Just checking in on you guys, make sure everybody's doing well. I know it's definitely a weird time for everybody. Um, personally, I, I don't mind being at home. I miss going out to restaurants and that's basically it. Um, and I will say like if Nikki and I were in our own house right now, cause we're in the process of, uh, our house is being built. We're in the, the process of going through closing and everything like that. Um, so hopefully we should be in our own house by the end of the year, uh, just depending on how everything is delayed. But if we were in our own house, I would be totally fine with it. It's a little bit cramped cause we're, he's currently um, staying with my family so that we can still see each other during quarantine, which is very nice of them. And um, I love my family a lot. We all get along, but it's still just like, 
a lot of people in one house. So um, I, I, I love it, but it's also like, uh, it's, it's just a lot to deal with. So <laughs> I would love to know how you guys are doing, how you guys are holding up. Um, I'm hoping everybody is well and healthy, but uh, obviously these are scary times. So yeah, just checking in, make sure you guys are good. So we're done with the cheek stuff and all that. We are now going to go into, it's gonna be so hard for me to use the Saturday palette. I'm being so honest. It's, they just don't work with what I wanted to do. I'm thinking the only color I'll probably use from the Saturday palette is gonna be pure linen, which is like literally just a very neutral blending shade. I'm thinking that's gonna be the one that we use just so I can say I used at least one color from it. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So yeah, so the nice part about the Friday and the, the Sunday palettes, which are the ones that we're gonna use the most, is the, the Friday palette, if I can hold them both together. The Friday palette, the biggest issue I had with that was that uh, this one is, this one right here is the Friday palette. It's three shimmer shades, one matte shade, and then um, the Sunday palette had two really matte shades, one semi shimmer and then one glitter toned. The glitter toned is a little darker than what I typically like to use. So I think it's going to be nice to have those two to mix together. So what I'm gonna do is first jump in with, um, we're gonna do cedar wood first, which is the darkest brown shade in the Sunday palette. Um, okay, so I did go ahead and start with cedar wood just lightly. I, yesterday, Sunday, when I did the eye look for it, I went like all the way up with it. I'm gonna keep it low today because I want it to be a different look than what yesterday turned out to be. So we're gonna keep it low, just give it a little bit of an angle on my lower lash line. I mean, my lower lash line. On my outer corner, I wish I could form human thoughts like a normal person, but apparently I cannot because I'm in quarantine brain. So also, since you guys have seen me work with these palettes before, it's not anything really new. I am gonna just kinda like, it's not gonna be like a get ready with me, but I'm gonna throw out some questions. So some things that we've been thinking about doing on the channel lately, I'm, I'm really trying to look for like what's going to make it, you know, more relatable to you guys, what you guys would like to see. And I would love to get insight. Nikki and I have really talked about doing like a sit down like a Q and A or get to know us or a life update, something like that, just because there's been a lot of things that have kind of changed and we've grown a lot as a channel. So if you guys are interested in, in seeing that, definitely leave that in the comments as well. Something that like, it, it's very, it's very hard because it feels like semi, I don't wanna say narcissistic, but it just seems like, like, do you guys really care about what's going on in our lives or do you wanna just see me do makeup? So if you guys want to see that, I would love to know. Um, my goal is for hopefully you guys to wanna to connect with us, you know, as people, as well as just, you know, watch our, our makeup tutorials. But if that's not what you're interested in, then uh, I'm not gonna waste your time. So uh, let me know if you guys are interested in that. We've also talked about, you know, obviously we did a recipe the other day. We filmed another uh, cooking tutorial. We move into the own, our own house. That's something that we wanna do as well. But we've thought about doing more recipe type stuff. We've thought about doing like mukbangs and things like that. So just like if you guys have any content that you'd like, you'd be interested in seeing or you think would be fun for us to do, definitely let me know that as well. Cause that definitely is something that um, we wanna try and, you know, make content that you guys are looking for. And we have a lot more free time than we have before. So uh, yeah, so now's the, now's the chance. Okay, I'm going in with Rich Umber. I'll pull it up for reference. So we just used Cedarwood and now we're going in with Rich Umber. Uh, that's basically the same thing I did yesterday, but it's fine. I really liked yesterday's eye look, so it's hard for me not to be like, I just wanna recreate that one. But uh, we're not doing it exactly the same. We're gonna make it different. Similar, but different. All right, now I'm going in with Pure Linen, which is the shade that I said was in the, uh, the Saturday palette. We'll see if this one works the way I'm hoping it does. I'm still worried, ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it works, but it's not exactly, there's other blending shades that I would have liked to use instead, but I, I'm doing my darndest to make sure that I can get that Saturday palette in here somehow. All right, now we're going in with the glitter shade. So I'm gonna go in, I'm trying to decide what I wanna do with this. I think I'm gonna go in with Blooming Blush, which is uh, the medium toned shimmer shade in the Friday palette. We're gonna see how that works. And I may do Soft Topaz, which is the lightest shade in that palette that is shimmery in my inner corner, but we'll see how it winds up turning out with just this. It is definitely very similar to yesterday's look. Yesterday's look was a little darker because I went heavy in the dark brown, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because I, like I said, I really liked how yesterday's look turned out. I really think the highlight of these palettes is gonna be if you want just like really pretty neutral toned, soft glam looks, I think you can do a lot with them. If you're looking for obviously something that's a little bit more statement or bold, I think that there are other palettes out there that are probably better suited for that idea. But these are really nice little like classic, just 
simple, pretty eye look palettes that are going to allow you to bring a small amount of makeup and do a lot with it. And that's the benefit of these little palettes. Okay, so while the camera was off, I did go ahead and do just a touch of the blush on my under eye as well, under the dark brown. So that kind of like helped blend it into my skin and lighten it up a little bit. I really like this particular palette or this particular collection. Like I said, it is not, I, if I'm being honest for myself, it's not something that I would use daily because I like more bold eye statements. I really am the type of person who's like, I don't care what I'm wearing and I don't care what I'm doing. If I wanna wear, you know, hot pink eyeshadow, I'm gonna wear hot pink eyeshadow. So that's just my normal aesthetic. Now I own a lot of makeup. So I wind up collecting things that are palettes that I'm not necessarily gonna use all the time, but I still really like, and I like the brands. And, and so I pick them up in my collection so I can do things like this and I can have them for, you know, certain neutral looks and stuff I wanna do. So for me, this is not necessarily something that I would use every day, but I definitely see the value in it. I hope, I'm gonna do mascara and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna kinda like su summarize everything so we save some time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this collection um, video set. I know it's not something that we normally do, but we had this really nice opportunity with having multiple palettes in one little collection to do kind of like a little mini series about it um, and kind of dive into what each one can do individually and, um, and then what we can do with all of them together. Like I said, it's really like just a classic simple look, which that is definitely something that a lot of people look for. Um, it is something that I think is very important if you are like somebody who collects makeup, it's important to have those staple pieces that can do simple eye looks as well as all the really original and bold pieces as well. And as somebody, if you don't collect a lot of makeup, it probably wouldn't be a bad thing for you to invest in if you want just a couple of nice classic pieces, just because it's not very expensive. I mean, $20 for three palettes coming with, you know, a total of 12 eyeshadows, three blushes and three highlighters. I think that's a really good deal, especially for a brand like Laura Geller that is, pretty reputable within the, the makeup community. I know they're not, you know, as, as large scale as some of the other ones, but I like her stuff. I like what she stands for. She, um, she's a, is or was a formal makeup artist in the celebrity community. So she definitely knows her stuff. And, and like I said, I really, I enjoy her products. So seeing it at a pretty nice price was, um, was exciting for me during the holidays. I will say if you sign up for her mailing list, she does deals all the time. I get emails from her all the time, which is how I found out about this one is because my mom was on her mailing list and was like, you need to go check. And then I bought this and now I'm on her mailing list. So, um, so yeah, I would just say if you're considering it, definitely check it out. Um, I don't think, I think it's a good deal for what you get with it, so. All right, so this is the final look. This is our final aesthetic. We are wrapping up this series, so you will see these palettes no more, at least for this. Uh, can't promise that at some point they won't get pulled out for a different video. But uh, for the time being, the Weekender collection is going back into my cabinet and uh, we'll see it on the other side someday, but uh, probably not on screen anytime soon. Like I said, cute little palette set. Definitely um, a decent investment. I love the idea of it. They're small, compact, so you can travel with them pretty easily, I think. Um, and you don't have to bring all three of them, obviously. If you buy one of them and you're like, hey, like I would probably bring the Sunday Fun Day with me going out of town as like a neutral palette. I wouldn't bring the other two if I'm being honest. So cute little mini set. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Like I said, I know it's different than what we normally do, but I picked up another three palettes uh, collection from Laura Geller at the same time I bought this one. I will probably do something similar with that one. I've got a couple other like little sets that came with multiple palettes. It might be fun to explore that and do that kind of thing. If you like this video, please definitely let us know. I would really love to get some dialogue going with you guys on this particular video. I know I asked some questions and I hope you guys um, feel inclined to answer because I would really like to check in and make, every, make sure everybody's okay and also see what we can do uh, content wise to keep you entertained during these, uh, these weird times. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel but you like us, then please consider doing that. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. Uh, we try and have a lot of fun here. We try and do unique things and I'm always gonna be honest with you. So uh, that's something you can take to heart. Uh, but other than that, I just hope you guys are all safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.